but leaning into the kind of character, a bit of a switching gears a little bit. A few years ago, you appeared on AEW television. And I, at that time, I thought, oh, this is perfect. You know, Henry knows, you know, what it takes to, you know, be a character. Some of the best um, athletes that have, you know, pro, you know transitioned into professional wrestling have been guys that have got a, a traditional wrestling background. There were rumors I thought that you had signed with them or you were going to sign with them. What actually happened there with AW? And is there still potential interest for you to become a professional wrestler? Um, yeah, but it, it all, that probably not now. Like okay. even in the beginning before I signed with the UFC, like we we're in talks with the WWE. You know, I was going to be the Atomic Flea. You know, they were going to. You know, I had thought about maybe even signing. I had talked to Jerry Briscoe at that time and. You know, we're, we're gonna, you know, they're gonna fly me out to Orlando and do that, all, that that whole trial stuff. But being a WWE fan, WWF, you know, and you know when I started watching it, I'm 36 now, and I kind of stopped watching once I started real wrestling. But uh, it, uh, yeah, it did intrigue me. At the same time, I I knew that if I'm gonna use my body, I might as well fight and do the real stuff. You know, I'm not saying that the WWE isn't real; it's 100 percent real. But I'm talking about competitively. Right. And uh, so I honestly I'd never really, I never want to travel like crazy like they do. And everyone, I didn't want to get the throne like Rey Mysterio. You know, I think those were the biggest things. I, I just felt like my body was, I didn't want my body to break. So that being said, I think if I was to do the WWE or AEW, I would like to do one offs. Like, I don't, I just don't see myself doing that stuff for, you know, for, for a very long time, even though I do believe that I could be really, really good at it. You know, I worked out with uh, Chavo Guerrero. He's giving me lessons. And he's like, bro, you're a natural, man. Like, he gets stuff right away. I was like, well, I grew up watching it, man. And I did amateur wrestling. And I fought. So, uh, and I understand, like, the, the acting portion of when you get hit and you got to, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's, uh, there's things that come natural to me. And I think uh, something like the WWE or AEW would uh, would be one of them. Well, you've got Endeavor that now, you know, owns both UFC and WWE. And there's been plenty of guys that have done the special appearance, the one-off. You know, DC was a special guest referee last year. Uh, maybe we could have Henry Sahuda come in uh, as a part of the LWO or, you know, something fun for one of their special events in the future, like a WrestleMania or a SummerSlam. Would that be something you'd be interested in? Of course, 100%, 100%. But I think now with, with the family, I think it's just, you know, that's my part, that's number one. But if you decide to, you know, money talks. You know, if they want to do something like that, I, 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 you know, I'm open for anything. Thanks for watching this episode of Smack Talk with Sandu. Hey, do me a favor, hit the like button, drop a comment. Let me know what you think. Share this with your friends. And if you really enjoyed it, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I have a lot more amazing content planned. So jump along for the ride.